Okay guys, so get this. Snoop Dogg was evidently in a reflective mood on Wednesday, March 11th, when he shared a throwback video of himself talking about the late Tupac Shakur. In the clip, the interviewer asked him what he learned from his friendship with the late gangster rap legend. Tupac and what you did with him, you, there's such a legacy left in the music world based upon what you guys did then and now. And I just, I wanted to ask you personally, like what did you learn from a figure like that, being friends with him and, and what can people take away into their own lives from what he did and how he lived? I think what I learned from Tupac was basically a, a different kind of work ethic. I always had a good work ethic about myself as far as being timely and being on point and being a professional, but he just showed me how to be a little bit more faster at it as far as like getting to the, to the meat of it all and not really just listening to it all the time and not absorbing it, but more or less just doing it and keep doing it and doing it and then let the engineers mix it and master it and not fall in love with it, but fall in love with the craft of being able to do it and continue to do it. So... But I feel like that was something that was passed on to me, and now I'm showing it through my work ethic as far as the different things that I do and the way I diversify myself, and it passes that on to the young generation to show them that you can do the same thing that I'm doing because as an old man, if I'm doing it, he wrote in the caption, wise words from Pac to dog to y'all. Snoop Dogg and Tupac collaborated numerous times, most memorably on two of America's Most Wanted from Pac's 1996 album, All Eyes on Me. The project also featured The Outlaws, Dr. Dre, George Clinton, E-40, Red Man, Met the Man, The Dog Pound, Casey and Jojo, and Roger Troutman of Zap and Roger, DJ Quick, Johnny J, Dre, Rick Rock, Daz Dillinger, DJ Pooh, Devontae Swing, and Pac himself were among the producers who contributed to the album. Pac was gunned down seven months after its release at the age of 25. The murder remains unsolved. So what do you guys think? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date on all of our new videos. And as always, make sure to keep it all the way locked to hiphopdx.com.